This is a follow-up to the uh, previous Droid Toolbox setup video. Uh, there have been a few people who have contacted me with issues specifically related to setting this up on a Mac. So I've got myself uh, a MacBook here that we are staring at right now, a fresh install. And uh, the only thing I've installed so far outside of this video is Firefox, just because... For whatever reason, I have an affinity for Firefox, even though it's definitely nowhere near the kind of browser it used to be. So let's begin. I am going to go to arduino.cc, and I'm going to download the Arduino. So I'm going to grab the, the latest version for Mac OS. This is an Intel, so I'm just going to download it. And there we go, it's downloading. All right, it has finished downloading. I'm going to open it up now, and all I do is drag this over to application. And it's going to copy the IDE. And just like that, under applications, I now have the Arduino IDE installed, and I will click on it. Start it up. Now, I should point out, I am not uh, a regular Mac user. Um, I grew up on Windows, so I do not know the intricacies of the Mac OS. However, I know kind of enough. Hopefully, we'll find out. Uh, sure, go ahead, do that. Uh, so there we go. The Arduino IDE is up and running. I need to install the ESP32 core. I forget how to do that, so ESP32 core Arduino install. Don't I need to add a URL here into preferences? Yes, this. So file, no, oh, is it here? Settings, yes. I could just paste that in there, hit OK. And then tools, board, board manager, search for ESP32, click install, and it's going to do a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, while it's doing that, um, I am going to go to GitHub and grab the code. Because I don't know where this saves the uh, sketches, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually view the raw source for the code, select all, copy it, bring it into here, select all, paste, and then, oh, and then save it, try to save as Droid Toolbox. And, okay, there we go. What happened? Did I, did I cancel the install of the ESP32 by doing that? All right, uh, so don't try multitask is apparently the message of the day. Okay, uh, it is installed. So now I can go to tools, board, ESP, ESP32. Now, I'm going to actually be installing Droid Toolbox on a T-Display S3, just because that is what I have sitting in front of me. Funny story, my T-Display uh, actually doesn't have a screen right now because I tried to do something that I was told not to do because I'd break it, and I, I broke it. Oh, look at this. Um... The XC run command requires the command line developer tools. Would you like to install those tools now? Okay, so this is interesting. This is one of the problems that people were uh, having. So I've downloaded the latest version of the Arduino IDE. I don't know if older versions of the IDE do this for you or not, but there is this utility, these command line developer tools that you need to install to get the ESP32 core to work. And there is a command line Thing that you can run in terminal to do this or apparently i have the option to install it here and i don't know which one i want to go with which route i should go i think if i just click install everything will be fine 
But uh, do I want to do it? Shh. No, because in case you're in a similar position as me, you didn't do that. You click cancel for whatever reason. Now, how do you install those tools? Well, what I'll do is I'll try to compile the board and I should get an error message. Okay, there we go. I've got an error message here. Oh, I have to get the TFT ESPI library. That's, uh, I, I don't need to do anything special, right? I can just go into manage libraries and search for TFT ESPI, right? And there it is right there. And I just click install. And now I run the compile option. And I know I still have to edit one of those files there. I just want to get the compile error first, and I want to resolve that. I want to show you, if you're on a Mac and you have the Arduino IDE installed, and you have the ESP32 core installed, and you have that ESPI, TFT ESPI library installed, you're going to get an error message during compiling about XC run, hopefully, and then we'll copy that error message, throw it into Google, and hopefully find the command line command. Oh, see, it wants to... It's still telling me to do that here. What happens if I hit cancel? So on compiling, it tried, it gives me that error again. So it looks like the command line tool isn't... You don't need to go to the terminal to, to, to fix this. You can just click that install button. Or have been people have people clicked on that install button? I don't know. This is, this is the first time I'm trying to do this on a Mac. Again, it, the Python 3 command requires command line developer tools. This thing is giving me ample opportunity to just click install. I already found the, the, the tool for this, or the command, and it's in one of the comments on the Droid Toolbox thing here. There we go. It's a big thread here. Yeah, see, this is the error that this person is getting. And I'm guessing this error is, is an older version of the IDE, the 183, that I think I I showed. Did I show that? Yeah. In any event, this is what you need to run. Open terminal and run xcode-select-install. And that should install the client that it needs. Uh, but I'm going to try running this and compile again. And if I get that pop up again to install the tools, I'm just going to click install and see what happens. Uh, I know running that command line works because a couple of people I've been talking to that have been having this problem ran it and it fixed the problem for them. So I just want to see if this opportunity to install the tools here, the command line tools, if that fixes it automatically and, and you don't need to manually run. See, here we go. Click on install. And it's a license agreement for Apple Xcode. Yeah, continue on battery power. It's not a big deal. I've got 90% left. What? There's no way. There's no way. All right. Okay, that's better. I was about to say I was going to really sympathize with Mac users for getting stuck with a day-long download just to compile Droid Toolbox. But, okay, it's not going to be that bad. Oh, it's doing something. Ah, oh, another timer. What? What? You don't even include timers. Just say, don't worry, it'll be done in a few minutes and go get a coffee or something. Okay. Done. Now I'm going to hit the compile button, and now we will get no errors. Right. No errors. Okay, good. Uh, so now I need to I need a text editor. Um, is there a text editor? Notes, stickies, text edit. Bingo. File open. Now, where is... Oh, there we go. Arduino. Droid Toolbox. Nope. Libraries. Yes. User Setup Select. Open. Bingo. And now... I want to make this window a little bit bigger. Yeah. Comment that out. And then we find the T-Display S3, in my case, which is there. 206. I need to uncomment. File save. And then quit. And compile one more time just to prove that I didn't break anything by doing that. 
and that will get the code in the Arduino side of things done. And then we're going to have to tackle connecting this thing to the Mac. Good. Compiling is fine. Now we need to upload this to my uh, T display. And I talk about needing to come down into tools, right? And this is where we set up all of the stuff here. And I think I said we could leave this all pretty much alone. Port. Um, I have no serial ports. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm plugging it in now. And uh, if I come up to ports here, um, USB modem, blah, 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 blah. Is that it? I don't know. We'll click on that. And then we'll upload. Let's see what happens. It's just uploading. It's working fine. I've got the um, I've got the color issue, where uh, the colors are reversed, and I need to fix that. And that's what documents. Arduino, libraries, TFT, blah, blah, blah. And then um, user setups. Scroll down to user setup 206 and open that. And up here at the top, change the order, save, quit, upload again. Oh, this isn't going to be very helpful to anybody. It just worked. This is, and I purposely reinstalled the OS so that nothing was was here. Yeah, it's uploading. And I didn't have to install any drivers or anything. Yeah, and it works. It's It's running right now. Scanning, it's working fine. Absolutely wild. That was a T-Display S3. And it just worked out of out of the gate. So what what Mac OS version do I have? There you go. It's a MacBook Pro from 2017. It's got the latest iO uh, Mac OS on it because I just updated it. Ventura 13.2.1, and I didn't need to install drivers. Um, so that's a thing. All right, we're gonna try something a little different. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. I'm plugging in my T display. And uh, the silly thing with the T-Display, it has no screen on it right now, so I don't even know if this is going to work. Uh, but does it see it? Yeah, it sees it. And if I change the board from an ESP32-S3 to just an ESP32-Dev and upload. Um, okay, so this thing doesn't look like it. Okay, good. So this is something somebody else was experiencing. I'm going to try installing the official drivers for this thing, and we're going to see what happens. So how do we install drivers? I don't know. I've never installed drivers on a Mac before. Um, TTGo, T-Display, GitHub. LilyGo has a T-Display, uh, has a GitHub repository. And they usually have lots of interesting information here. Quick start guides. See, right at the top, drivers. It talks about a Mac driver here, so I can just click on that, and it's going to bring me to a page where I can download, hopefully, a Mac driver. So I'm going to download it. Okay. I've got a package, a DMG, and instructions. Download the driver and unzip, which I've done, and the OS does not support Rosetta. The DMG format driver should be installed. Otherwise, the packaged format driver should be installed by default. Okay. So, like, double click on it, and that seems to be it. Please click the button below to install the driver. Move the application to trash to uninstall the driver. All right. So, I need to enable this extension if you. Open privacy and security in the system settings. OK. 
extensions. Oh, 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 there it is. Why didn't I see that before? I'm silly. Uh, allow that to load. We're good. Okay. So if I plug my TT Go in now. Um, WCHU. Okay, let's try that. It's uploading. There we go. All right, good. All right, so I want to try something again. I want to exit out of the IDE, bring it back open. I want to confirm that the port. Okay, we have no, we have no, um, no serial port there. I've plugged it in, and now I have a USB serial port. Oh, and then after I get the USB serial port, I also get the WSC or WCHU. Could I use either, or do I uh, do I need to use that that other one? The one I'm trying to upload to now is the same one I was seeing before, right? Huh. And now if I change the port, oh, let's come back here to that. W C H U S B serial. And I do the same upload. Yeah. All right. That's weird. So the 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 built-in serial drivers for the uh, the Mac work with the S3. I don't need to install drivers, but with just the straight TT Go T display, no no S3. It looks like I need to install and use that driver huh the fact that there are two usb ports there is kind of annoying oh well it is what it is so what did we learn when doing this on a mac you need to install the command line tools that come with uh, xcode those developer tools will be installed if you just click that install button and if you don't click that install button you'll get other opportunities to click it later on click it and if you don't get prompted for that for whatever reason, um, there is a command line. You open up a terminal and run Xcode dash select space double dash install. You might need to put the word sudo in front of that command. And that will install the necessary command line utilities to compile and upload the sketch. And then if you have a regular T display, not the S3, it looks like you do need to go and download those uh, drivers for it and install the drivers. And then after the drivers are installed, crucially, when selecting the port, select the one that has WCH in it. And you'll be good to go.